I have built a mind-blowing computer for my entertainment and professional use. The interior of the computer has a satin black themed design to it, so it can look beautiful on the inside just as much as the outside, and gives the design of the computer its own theme, whether it's cables, motherboard, power supply, etc. The inside of the computer has three fans, two at the top and one at the back. The two fans at the top are not only used to cool the computer, but also the CPU as a liquid cooler. The power supply is 1000 watts, meaning it can pretty much make the computer unlimitless for how much power it can take, even when the add-ons of the circuit board are at maximum power. While the graphics card gives a resolution of up to 4K at 60 frames per second, important for video editing and other graphical work. Even when tasks are very demanding, it contains three HDMI cables for displaying standard 1080p HD or a display port for producing 4K Ultra HD. With RAM, I'm using 32GB of DDR3 RAM, which will also be essential for video editing, but for developing music as well. The computer does also feature an SSD containing 240GB, used for transferring software programs such as Vegas Pro, Premiere Pro, Ableton, etc to help make these programs run more reliably. But that's nowhere near all, as this is my main hard disk drive, and it's four terabytes. Its main use is for storing work, but can be used for other things as well, such as games, the web, and basic software applications. I won't start talking about the other 200 gigabyte HDD drive until we get to the motherboard for a good reason. The motherboard has a wide range of compatibility and is suitable for Windows 10 and later future operating systems as far back as Windows XP. Although the computer's main operating system is Windows 10, it's also backwards compatible with the ability to run Windows XP. Thanks to the board having one IDE cable, I've connected the cable with the 200GB hard disk drive as XP doesn't support SATA cables. Windows XP has its own separate drive compared to all the other drives built into the machine. The edge of the motherboard features four USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 ports, a PS2 connector, a D sub port, a dual link DVI, Ethernet, HDMI, and audio ports. The CPU uses an AMD FD8370, which can clock up to 4 GHz which is decent for modern CPUs in the 2020s. If you look down at the computer, you'll notice that it has wheels. These wheels were built into the computer by me, in order for easy access to be moved between workplaces, and to make it more portable to carry around like a suitcase. Unlike the Apple wheels that cost $700, these wheels cost $15 for all four of them, that are also made out of metal and rubber, but also have a wheel brake on the front two wheels, so you can hold the computer in its position without it moving when you don't want it to.
The extra features I use for the system will have to be about my studio setup. The monitor used is the 27 inch LG 4K 27UL850, a high quality affordable monitor that has a resolution of 3840 by 2160 and the edges of the monitor are much thinner than what you would find on a classic flat screen monitor. The speaker used for displaying the sound is made by the same company, the LG PK5X Boom Bluetooth speaker. It produces a good quality sound when it comes to playing music and watching videos, and can even give a little cinema experience in your room. The computer has the ability to run future, modern and old programs, even if they are no longer compatible with newer systems. So essential programs can never become obsolete again. I'm hoping that I can give this computer a lifespan of 10 years. So far, this system is two years old, with a few upgrades in 2020. This system doesn't have an age, but rather what kind of meaning it has to it. A video by Matt Harmer. Develop in your heart.